Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. And today lecture, we are going to explain the lapping and beams. So there are two important things to be considered today. One is the overlapping zone or region in beams. And the second is the overlapping length of the steel bar and beams. So these two topics will be explained with the help of an example so, the, so then it will be easy to understand. So the first one is overlapping a zone. So if I consider this is a beam horizontal member and these vertical members here, these are the columns. So where we should do overlapping in the beams, so it should be keep, kept in mind that overlapping should be provided if I consider the steel bar here. So this is the steel bar. So if this is one steel bar and this is another steel bar. And here this is again another steel bar. So only overlapping should be provided here at those region and the tension zone. So what should be this overlapping length or overlapping zone region? So this should be the L by 8. This should also be L by 8. Now if this is the total length of the beam L, so L by 8 should be provided here and L by 8 should be here only at this at those region the overlapping is allowed at this region for example if i represent it by x or for example by z so this region there is no overlapping allowed at this region because it is a tension region there is more positive bending movement at this portion of the beam that's why we are not allowed to do an overlapping of the steel bar so only at L by 8, L by 8, we are, can do the overlapping of the steel bar. Now, for example, if the length of the beam is 8 meter, for example, so how much overlapping we can do here? From this face of the column, from this point to this point, we can do L by 8 means 8 by 8 because the length is 8 meter, so it means 1 meter. From this point to this point is 1 meter, we can do the overlapping. Similarly, from here, this distance should be 1 meter. We can do 1 meter overlapping of the steel bar. The rest is 6 meter. This one to this one 6 meter. We cannot do overlapping in this 6 meter length. No lapping is allowed in this region. Now, the second one is in compression region. There is a different scenario. You will see here. Now, in compression, if this is the steel bar, I represent it like this. And the other one is like this. So the in compression zone, the overlapping is allowed here like in this way. So if this is the length of the beam, so at L by 3, there should be no overlapping. Only at L by 3, here at this region, at the mid portion, overlapping is allowed. Similarly here, if I remove this, Similarly here, L by 3, there should be no overlapping because this portion is a, there is a bending moment here at this portion of the beam. At this portion of the, this is the bending moment, here is also a bending moment, so we should not provide the overlapping of the steel bars where there is a bending moment. So only at L by 3, at the mid portion, we can do the overlapping of the steel bar. So if total length of the beam is 8 meter, so L by 3 means 8 by 3 comes out to be 2.67. So 2.67 here, 2.67, there should be no overlapping. Only at this point 2.67 overlapping is allowed. Here at this portion 2.67 overlapping is not allowed. So this was all about the overlapping zone. Now, how much overlapping should be provided? If I consider again, this is my steel bar. For example, this is steel bar. 
So how much should be the overlapping length? So the overlapping length should be for tension should be keep kept in mind for tension the overlapping should be equal to the 50 into d where d is the diameter of the part this is the overlapping length this is the formula for the overlapping length of the steel bar it is equal to the 15 to d where d is the diameter of the steel bar for example this steel bar has a diameter of 16 millimeter so what should be the overlapping length the overlapping length should be equal to the 15 to d it means 50 into 16 millimeter because 16 is the diameter of the bar so 15 15 to 16 we got 800 millimeter so it means the overlapping should must be minimum of 800 millimeter this overlapping length should must be 800 millimeter similarly here this overlapping length should must be 800 millimeter here as well 800 millimeter this is intention now how much should this be in compression for example if this is a steel bar and this is another steel bar so how much should be this minimum compression length or the overlapping length so overlapping length should be o equal to the 24 into d 24 into d where d is the diameter of the bar for example the diameter of the bar is again 16 millimeter so 16 it comes out to be 384 millimeter so we should must provide at least 384 millimeter overlapping of the steel bar in such case so this all the overlapping length is dependent on the diameter of the steel bar for compression we should provide 24 into d for compression zone for tension zone we should provide 50 into d where d is the diameter of the steel bar so hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching our video